Though they may be a wounded animal, a bear can still always be lethal. So let's find out. Mihu already striking in the middle. And he's going to double it. Bialy joins the party as well. And VP, they're bringing the train, the plow, up through short to try and fight back against Kenny F for the God of French yes, himself. Two quick kills before he gets dropped. And leaves it just on body, but too far away from the action. The bomb's already down on that B site. If he can win this duel, maybe he finds somewhat of an opening, but it's a very difficult clutch. T is trying to just keep him pinned in as, of course, the bomb's already been planted and they're just going to come charging back into him. There's nobody watching bomb whatsoever and he's already started to tap these players back. They have to be cautious. It's also low HP. <laughs> it's one of those situations where first point of contact is shocks, but because he sees the shoulder, he kind of jumps the gun. Doesn't nail the headshot. Me, who flashed off a cap, but there is a player still up close, and that's Bialy to strike next. So they are moving forward past these pistol players. Body, you know, he's got a message to send, and then Kenny S does the exact same thing. Although it's through smoke that Mihu slays the next player, and there goes the last. Playing off of pistols, so they want that proximity. In the meantime, Smiths has his hand on the MP7. But he's losing teammates left and right. Or finally, he manages to find himself a fight and he wins it. The second, not so much. Bialy and Moros will seal the deal. They have a monitor for the position, but instead they'll just dive in. Luckily enough, the entry kills are there for VP and the site is blanketed in smokes. Bomb can go down and already these rotations attempted to be cut off by Mihu in the spawn, but he's dead and that now gives an opportunity to G2. Maybe they'll consider this retake after all. Even though they are a man down, there's a chance. And that's just enough. Existence grabs the open. No, forget it. They're going to run for the hills. Nothing to do with this one. BP pick up a reset. A pretty important round here, considering they ran in with a few pistols as well. P, this time, BP want to take back control. So early smokes towards the window and the top. But Kenny S again, reposition. Finding that first pick, although traded, now means VP are actually in a far better position because a four on four is always going to favor the T side. It means the G2 now need to split up and therefore have less trade potential. Boost up on short, the passion won't be ready for. It does spot that peak. It's actually not the boost. They instead get aggressive and try and assault VP in middle, who tried to hold on to this control. Body's already out around the smoke, but Smith is dead, and Body's going to join him as well. G2, one by one, starting to fall. Of course, they're giving chase to the player towards jungle. It's a three-way pitch to drop oh. him for G2. Bot is still well equipped. But it seems like Smith will take the first kill of the round, the headhunter. Falling off as body takes his position here, just trying Ooh. to reapply the... Oh no! I was gonna say pressure, but now the pressure falls onto G2 because they're down a man and existence hangs on to a shred of health. But Shoxy, well, he's still over in the apps and he's clearing things out, so now it's gonna be information gained to existence who could just peek off of a plant if the bomb eventually makes its way here because it's still stagnant in mid. But 9 HP and 3 Molotovs on VP. If they use their utility effectively, this should not be a problem. But let's see if they falter under the pressure. Existence moving out, the timing could catch him off. But it's actually shocks moving down the boxes that dies to Bialy. Existence, the low HP player, last up, and he's going to miss his opening duel. That will surely be his life over. The Molotov keeps him trapped, and he almost runs into it. Smoke coming down as well to try and shield his life, but Nero's hunting for his target. Somehow he's still alive here with five points of health, and he's. Not the pistol in his hand, but at this point the round's done and dusted. VP have already got that bomb down and near perfect match. So we're gonna need a near perfect round for G2 here. NES has to push up now. He knows these players are out. Good on him to at least drop morals, but it does still cost existence. He was burnt alive. Now bodies the last M4 up for G2, and good on him to find Pasha. But it is still me oh, who no. Oh man, behind enemy lines. And the flashbang's not strong enough to deny him the kill on to Shoxy. Again, as said, body. Last rifle up and the last man down with ops. But we'll see what does happen. Right now, it's the two heaviest hitters for Virtus Pro, both flanking ramp. And it looks like they're just going to play the retake B. The smokes come down for the Frenchman. They're going to flood down into the bomb site as well. Pasha, well, he's definitely going to feel the heat and even gets the fade away, but Smiths will blast him to smithereens and Existence will now watch Smoke as they take a position in the market. 
Yeah, VP boosting us up as well, trying to get an off angle from Morals to try and drop a player on shore, but it's shocked with a quick tap on the USP. So oh. good with this gun, and he's showing us why. Two kills, can't hit the third, and it's near to trade back, and somehow there it is. They're back in, they win the round. VP, out of absolutely nowhere, are going to find that pistol round. Yeah, the only kills they end up picking up in the after plant are actually Shox's two taps inside of Axe. Then all of a sudden, this catwalk play just goes straight to their favor. Look at the difference between mid control and the two CT sides. It was G2 to constantly assault the top of mid with smokes and utility. And now this time, it's G2 on the T side being given complete free reign. Down towards the ramp, they lose a man, but Moral is going to drop the bomb. That's pretty important. And while VT can't hold on to it, they have taken an early two-man advantage, which is going to put them in a pretty uh, comfortable situation right now. Upgrading into an AK is Bialy as well. If you can get that back into the hands of a fully health player, they will be truly primed to bounce back after losing to the Force. All of a sudden, that save call in the previous round turned out to be a very good decision. Yeah. And we'll see if the three remaining G2 players can get themselves into this A site. They will all group up to this ramp. Body! <laughs> just blasts the brains out of two. Both players towards Ticket immediately down. There is still a man inside of the bomb site, but Bialy was already low. So he's an easy fumble. Smith spots the cross. He knows there's someone on staircase, so he's trying to prioritize the duel, but he's taking damage, and so is Kenny. Everybody's dead. They've already spotted it. Morrow's gonna run back towards the jail and try and hold onto it with his dear life. He's got a crossfire, and that might be enough. Morrow's three kills, going in for four. It's not gonna happen, but the round is done. VP have surely secured it. Kenny S is gonna need something obscene. And he's gonna get nothing other than bullets through the chest. Yali's gonna hold this back. Oh, timing. Just allows the MP7 to do more work. And the USP. Absolutely fantastic from Neo. Looking like it's 1.6 all over again. Gonna be able to find that quick ace. And yeah, even he doesn't know what just happened to me. He could still catch them off guard. He could drop this bomb. There's only 30 seconds left as well. He spots it coming through the window. And now he's going to be able to hear it going down. Fast peak is perfect. And even though he's flashed, he finds a kill. Second player is so low and Smith is cut off from the bomb site. 20 seconds and Bialy's done it. Four kills for his efforts. So here we Ooh. go. That's one hell of a shot. Existence destroyed. As Smith gets tagged up in the process. And then Mihu is able to seal the deal on that one. So out of nowhere, we have ourselves a five versus three. We have an upgraded gun in the hands of Mihu. But oh, again, nice. he is caught off guard. Luckily, there is enough players there to trade. And unfortunately, for G2 that is, the bomb's been offered over. But Body has had enough. He comes in with two quick kills. A snap headshot onto Pasha Biceps, who was blindsided by the exit. And another from Body. He is single-handedly looking to close map one. G2, they survived the tribulation. And VP, they're trying to gain some of their own. Look at me who's push. He's all the way up the top of middle. Existence is waiting, but is he going to catch the timing? Oh, no. You hate to see it. That's always awkward. Luckily enough, Smith is there to bail them out, so they will pull it back to the four on four. But Miali getting aggressive in the tunnels. Not sure if that's justified. Again, the trades are still here as Smith gets dropped and two low players for G2. This could be bad. Body could have spotted another one, but not really like he has the health to duel. This round's really gonna fall on shocks. And he could punch his way into the A site unless Neo gets him right now. But it's actually Pasha towards mid. Blowing out the brains of Body. Shocks, he still hasn't been able to find this angle. Because Neo is just so reserved. He crouched and hiding away. That's still more HP shaved off of what remains of G2, which doesn't remain to be much. A USP headshot to seal the deal. After time is denied. And still have some footing towards this A site. Existence ran forward to throw that Molotov deep towards a dumpster, but he actually pushed into the door and therefore it upset his trajectory to the right. That's why that Molotov missed. Bit of an upset, and talk about this round is an upset. Now we have a man advantage up for the Polish and a gun gifted to Bialy. Problem is map control. Again, same as the previous round. They may have had an opportunity, but it's the map control that they lack. However, they may be able to pick up body here. Alone and yeah, straight gone. That's another gun for Mihu. And even though the plant can come in from existence, he's going to need to show he's not just the brains, he's also the brawn. 
Hmm. Jumps down, tries to isolate fights right away, but he's already taking damage, and down he goes. Just gonna avoid him, and he's got a bit of a top of him. The smoke, when he's fallen into it, he's burning alive, and he's been shot through the smoke. It's Bialy to try and hold onto the site, and he does drop the bomb, combining for two. Bialy trying to find the third, but he does eventually fall alongside Kenny. It's only shots left up on the flank, but with 20 seconds left, he's gonna make a hero play. He needs to get the bomb, but look where it is. It's on <gasps> top of the boxes, so this is gonna buy time. 10 seconds no, left, Shocks can't find it. He's panicking now, and he's gonna go for the kill instead. He's gonna go for the kill instead, and he's denied by Neo. Question is, with pistols on three, will it be enough? Whoa. There we go. Body. Body. Little bald head was revealed, and well, Neo's just gonna run in and blast one back with a pistol. Now, Existence is not gonna commit to the kill because he'd rather secure the bomb site. We've got that wall of smokes now down for the bomb itself to get into this, but Existence needs to hold down the cat push, and he can't because Bialy's just oh. blowing brains out. Morals even with a deagle. The dirty double deag as Kenny S gets himself the first frag in what would be a 1v5. Fake plant and a second. Kenny S, what are you made of? Because you have no utility and 52 points of health. What was a chance at another kill? This could have just been cut down to the 1v1, and yet Kenny S still stands. That was way too close. There is most certainly a realer threat. In fact, Kenny S is about to find out the hard way. A lot of players rounding that corner, and he's going to pop the first one in the distance. But in the meantime, Morels is going to apply pressure here. It's Shoxy. It's Shoxy with two headshots already. Yali finally responds back with one of his own, but he's not being able to cross, and that's going to be problematic. So he needs Mihu to help him out here. Oh, there you go. There you go. What has happened there, Bialy? Four kills. One of the most experienced players for VP, and he is gone. Morels, the new boy on the block, has to save the day, but we are one kill away from an elimination for the Polish roster. Would still leave AGO, and that is all that will remain from Poland because.